affordable housing, but we can make sure that the government's there to help kickstart it, create that, create that uh, base. Governor, your time is up. Senator Vance, uh, on, as far as your campaign's position, the promise is to seize federal lands to build homes, remove regulation, provide tax breaks, and cut back on immigration, which you say pushes up prices. Where are you going to build all the new homes you're promising, and what part of any of this plan will provide immediate relief? You have two minutes. Well, for, first of all, uh, t Tim just said something that I agree with. We don't want to blame immigrants for higher housing prices, but we do want to blame Kamala Harris for letting in millions of illegal aliens into this country, bill. which does drive up costs, Tim. 25 million illegal aliens competing with Americans for scarce homes is one of the most significant drivers of home prices in the country. It's why we have massive increases in home prices that have happened right alongside massive increases in illegal aliens alien populations under Kamala Harris's leadership. Now, Tim just mentioned a bunch of ideas. Now, some of those ideas I actually think are halfway decent, and some of them I disagree with. But the most important thing here is Kamala Harris is not running as a newcomer to politics. She is the sitting vice president. If she wants to enact all of these policies to make housing more affordable, I invite her to use the office that the American people already gave her, not sit around and campaign and do nothing while Americans find the American dream of homeownership completely unaffordable. Now, you asked, Margaret, what would immediately change the equation for American citizens if you lower energy prices? As Donald Trump says, drill, baby, drill. One of the biggest drivers of housing costs, aside from illegal immigration, is think about it. If a truck driver is paying 40 percent more for diesel, then the lumber he's delivering to the job site to build the house is also going to become a lot more expensive. If we open up American energy, you will get immediate pricing release relief for American citizens.